Hi, everybody. I have been um, trying to figure out how I'm going to tell you this next story. I've been thinking about it all day long. And my boyfriend, Mark, Mark Edward, said, don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. Go, go and have a good day doing something else. And because this is a really depressing story. So I spent the entire day in the garden and that just rejuvenates me. I absolutely, you know, a, a day in the garden is a really good day for me and wore myself out. So now I'm in really late and I want to get this done because I don't want it think about it anymore so I have never really I'm not much of a trigger warning kind of person but I don't know if you're you know the people who watch my videos are in all different kinds of aspects of um, possibly believing in mediumship to people who are completely skeptical and and do not think well of the people who fall for this And so I had a woman reach out to me and she shared with me this website. I did not know this website existed. I have seen websites that, um, well, I've seen Facebook groups helping parents heal. And this is just helping parents heal on steroids. So if you feel like you're not in a good emotional place to be able to look at something like this. There's going to be a lot of grief. Then probably not a good idea to watch this video. Um, I we'll see. I'll I'm I'm I don't know how to tell the story. I was thinking, well, I'll just show you screenshots, and then I'll just blur everything out. That's a screenshot, and I thought, well, who wants to sit there? It, it's a lot of screenshots and it's a lot of blurring and it's a very tedious, time-consuming thing and I don't really want to do that. So then I thought, okay, well, I'm, I think what I'm going to do, what I was going to do is I was thinking, I'll just read you the posts. And I thought, well, you guys don't want to sit there and watch me on the screen reading posts. I mean, how boring is that? So I'm going through the, a lot of the posts on these on this particular Facebook page and I'm thinking it's not just simple it's not like three or four sentences some of these are a little longer people post and they tend to post quite a bit of content on there and like I said that would be really hard to sit there and blur it out only parts of it not blurred so the people's names are not in there so what I'm going to try let's see how this works is I'm going to um, share my screen of the Facebook page that I, in that I'm talking about, and then I'm going to read parts of what I find, and not verbatim necessarily. You know, I'll try to sum it up a little bit because some of them, like I said, they get pretty long. And um, then what I'll do is I'll, in, when I'm done recording, I will blur the screen to some extent, pixelate it so that you guys can still get a sense of what's there without being able to read people's names and all that kind of stuff. Because I really want to respect their privacy. Um, but it's just too much work to have to blur parts of it, but not other parts of it and to show you everything. So um, bear with me. Let's, let's, let's see how it goes, okay? So I'm going to um, pull this, pull up this Facebook page. Now I joined this Facebook page. It's private, but for some reason it allowed me to join as Susan Gerbeck. So they didn't do a great job vetting anybody, but this is a group. It's called Mediums Communicating with the Dead, Grief and Loss. It has been around for a few years. It's... Uh, the admins in it have names like divine something 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 
And it's what they do on this website is they have vetted some mediums. Some are apprentice mediums, which are like brand new, just learning the trade and others have more skill. And so what they want you to do, and the, uh, the, the admin in charge of this has vetted them to see that supposedly they're good people and they're, they're not going to scam you. Part of the rules are, you know, that you have to be, um, then you're, you're supposed to not add any other mediums to the group and you're not supposed to complain necessarily on the page. You're supposed to let them know if there's a problem with one of the mediums and we're supposed to be very professional and polite and kind. Um, they're definitely LGBTQ um, supportive. And really it's, <laughs> I think they said, you know, just let it be. If it's something that bothers you and you don't like it, then move on to the next post, but don't, don't, um, if it, if it, if it helps the person, um, who posted, that's fine. What they're doing is they're posting pictures of their loved ones. There's 24,000 people in this group. This is the one group um, that I'm going to show you about, but there are other groups like this out here with thousands of, of members. They gave you the list of all the mediums, which is really interesting. So I've got the spreadsheet with all the, the mediums that they have approved. I've never heard of a single one of them. Uh, possibly I'll be looking into some of them. And you post your picture, you share your grief, and then people come in and they tell you what they see. Like, you know, um, people who are mediums will say, this is what I'm getting from this, and this is what I'm what I'm seeing. And then what you can do is you can get a reading with them and then pay them. And all your information's right there. So the woman who shared me this, this Facebook page she says that she's had multiple readings in here. She's in grief herself. Um, and she's dealing, dealing with some pretty sad grief. And she says that she's had all kinds of readings. And they are awful. And she says that a lot of the readings she gets, and she's seen other people get, or just reading their Facebook page because this is a Facebook group. So your Facebook page is right there. So it, so it's not hard to look people up. You can find obituaries. You can find, because um, a lot of these people will put, this is the anniversary of my son's death. You know, he's been dead three years. So you, it makes it easy to find an obituary. So what she says is there's just all these people heart reading. All these mediums are hot reading or they're giving you, you comments that are so vague that, you know, you don't need to be a medium to, to have it. Okay. So the reason why I'm making this, and I think it's important is because, you know, typically I do these, these videos and I break down ratings and I break them down in great detail. And I explain how it works, how how it makes it look like these people are actually communicating with the dead. What are the tricks of the trade? That kind of thing. But in this case, why I feel this is very important is because this is grief. This is real grief. And I hear over and over and over that, you know, if if this makes people feel good, then what's the problem? But they don't they don't understand this harm that this is these people are well I'll, I'll 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 let you read it read these things some of these okay so um a lot of these tv shows and um you know netflix and all 
all these other places. They make it seatbelt psychic and crossing over with John Edward. And they make it as if it's almost like it's entertainment and that, you know, wink, wink, nod, nod, nudge, nudge. It's all fake. We all know that. Nobody really believes this. This is, this is like reading Chinese, you know, the fortunes in a Chinese cook and, and a fortune cookie. Nobody really believes it. And, and they, I don't know if they're really telling themselves this because they believe it or they're just looking at the almighty, you know, dollar and, and, and just using kind of like the guilt of, well, it's not that bad because, you know, come on, it's helping some people. So I'm going to pull up some pages kind of at random. I, I have not read most of these. And the reason why I'm pulling them up at random is because let's just see what we see. And then I'll just pixelate all this and I will just sum up what it says. And you can join the group yourself if you really want to. Nothing's stopping you out there. I'm sure this will still be around. But I am going to pixelate it to some extent so I don't have to sit and do this for hours of trying to block out people's names and so on. And I don't really want you to see my screen. Okay, so this first one here we're looking at somebody named Heather. It's posted in 2022. She's asking how I can get a free reading. What do I have to give you? What kind of information do I have to give you? She says, I'm in such a tough spot right now and depression and, and anxiety seem to be taking over. I could really use some guidance. Thank you for, for, um, in advance. And then people comment, right? So people will come in here and they'll comment. And uh, people are usually all very appreciative and saying, you know, my heart goes out to you and I had a son that, you know, or whatever, they tell you these kinds of things. So the, so a medium comes in, apprentice reader. She says that she, she'd be happy to give her a reading, but what kinds of things are she, is she specifically looking for? And so Heather responds, Okay, here's what Heather responds. What I want to know more than anything is if my marriage will work out. A lot is going on with my husband and I right now. I'm not sure where his head is at. Also looking to connect with my dad who passed when I was 14. Also lost my mom in 2016 and my stepdad in 2021. Anything would be great. So um, they go back and forth about... Uh, you know, giving her a private reading and, and so on. And um, she says, I've messaged you. And then somebody else says, hey, did somebody pass due to cancer? And she answers, yes, with an exclamation point. And then we can't see the rest of the conversation because I guess it went to private, to, you know, um, private conversations. Let's see what we have here. Missing my mom so much, can anyone pick up on anything? That one was just in the last hour or so. So nobody said anything yet. So here's an anonymous member. She says, I've been a good, loyal, and faithful wife and mother all these years. We've always had a good family dynamic. My husband and I have grown children. We've raised them in a way we can be proud. Okay. Um, I have now here recently, I've never felt so lonely and alone in my whole life. Our adult children all live very far away. I've always been a stay-at-home mom focused on our children when they were young. And so I didn't have a career to distract myself with. And she goes on to say that her husband has gone and, and she's just devastated. Well, then there's some really odd things that are in here. Um, this man is posting, he says, it's a rough day, is my honey, it's my honey's birthday, the first day since his passing. So he puts up a picture of himself and he's got these glasses on. And in the glasses, there's a glare 
in the in the glasses and somebody said oh my gosh there's a face in the glare of her glasses and the guy responds and he says i was looking at tv and that's just reflection there's a lot of that kind of stuff going on this is my mother 15 years ago and she's been passed a couple of years we were not on good terms but she was in very poor health I know she's at peace, but has she forgiven me? She told me some years back that she loved me because I was a daughter, but couldn't stand me otherwise. Wow. Okay. So the response from this psychic is when she went to heaven, she left any anger and resentment she had here on earth. She loves you very much unconditionally. Please know how she felt on earth is not how she feels in heaven. She is happy and always watching over you. She wants you to forgive her for her harsh words towards her. Remember all the best times you had. And then the the woman writes, thank you so much. This is from Alex, who says, my precious dad lost on June 2nd. Funeral was Tuesday. I'd love something from him. He's so messed. Nobody said anything yet because this just was posted nine hours ago. Um, let me ask for a reputable psychic medium. Here's one. Any messages for my dad, please? Thank you in advance. Nobody's responded yet. When, oh, Diane, one year ago today, I lost this amazing man. I'm completely lost without him. I will forever love you. Does anyone feel drawn to him? I would love some guidance right now. Three messages. I mean, here's, here's a psychic, trusted reader. So they've been vetted. Um, named Michelle. And Michelle says, this was your husband. Oh, no kidding. I feel like he passed from cancer. I feel like his passing wasn't unexpected. He suffered for a while. I feel like passing was a relief. He was a private man, kept things to himself. He liked the outdoors, camping, hunting, fishing. You see him working with his hands. He liked to fix things. He's in heaven and at peace. Do you like cars? Because I'm hearing the word car. Really? Was he in an accident? He loves you and sends you yellow flowers. I usually see roses, but I see yellow flowers. Was he cremated? His ashes are in a different place as I feel. I hope this resonates and I'm sorry for your loss. Okay, so her answer is, um, some of it makes sense. Thank you so much. I was in a car accident 20 days ago. His passing was unexpected. And she goes, okay, sorry, I didn't connect better. My dad's funeral was yesterday. And now that everything has calmed down, I'm feeling a bit lonely without him here. Wonder me if anyone has anything coming through that might comfort me about his passing. Another woman, I'm looking for a featured reader that specializes in past lives. I've been having vivid dreams that I believed are related to my past. I'm looking for answers. Okay, yesterday was my husband's birthday, his second in heaven. Last night, I had an amazing reading with another medium that she mentions that's on this Facebook page. She brought my husband forward, and she was absolutely amazing. His wit and character came through so well. Parts made me cry, and parts made me laugh. Thank you so much. You're a beautiful human. I can't thank you enough, as yesterday was a hard day, but you made it brighter. Here's from Tracy. She says, I can't get the feeling that failed. I can't get the feeling that failed you the day you left to ease. I don't, I don't know. Maybe if I didn't listen, I was there. You would still be here. Sorry, dad. Didn't mean for you to go alone. I miss you so much. Two weeks today, my precious 
beautiful mother passed away. This is from Rosa. I knew, I wish I knew that you were okay wherever you are now, and I miss you so much. This is a strange one. Hello, I lost my daughter five years ago, and I've just found out my younger daughter is pregnant. And there's a picture of her here, and you'll see it's all pixelated. And she's there with her cousin. If you look closer, there's a green orb on my daughter's stomach. Could that be my daughter I lost looking after her? Oh, dear. I'm a strong believer in the afterlife. I had an experience as a child. This is from Lisa. My mother away passed when well, my mother passed away in December while she was dying. I took my dog to visit her. He was licking her, trying to wake her up. A few months later, I had my dog's hips x-rayed. While looking at his x-ray of his pelvis, I see a face in the x-ray. It strongly resembles my mother. Could she have transferred her spirit to his body before she passed? I asked her yesterday if she could give me a sign to see her again. Could this be it? Please let me know what you all think or if you sense anything coming through. The picture to the left is my mom. The picture to the right is a zoomed in x-ray of my dog's pelvis. I see her face and just below and slightly to the left, a muzzle and ear of the dog. They had to tell you which one is your mother in the photo. Okay, all right, okay. <laughs> like, the son says they're missing their son. Um, this one's about reincarnation. Tomorrow, from Diane, tomorrow will be a year that my husband has passed. I've never had a reading, I just don't have the means. If someone senses him, I would love to have some peace. Well, let's see if anybody says anything. So somebody who's an apprentice says, I don't charge a fee and I'm trying to connect with your husband. And if you're interested, send me a private message. Oh, can, can anybody pick up anything about this photo of my nan? She passed just over three weeks ago. And my heart hurt so much. Almost two weeks without this lovely guy. Does anyone sense anything? Miranda, if anyone feels a connection, I'd be so grateful for a message from my grandmother to pass along to my mother. She misses her so much. From Monica, my heart is racing like I'm on drugs again. Today is her one year. I can't seem to breathe right. I just know my sister has something to say. Can anyone help with it here? I am so wanting, needing to know if anyone gets anything from this picture. Tomorrow is one year. Missing my dad like crazy. Can someone pick up his energy? Robin. I miss him so very much. It's been seven months since he passed. Does anyone get anything from his picture? From Sherry. This is my son, Ben. I lost him in 2017. Can anyone tell me anything? This is from Yolanda. She says, could someone please connect with my brother for me? I could really use a reading. I felt him touch me last night and he's been, I've been thinking about him all day today. <laughs> and Taylor, it's only been four and a half months since my soulmate, best friend has passed. And today I'm really missing my husband. I have good days and bad days. Today is not so a good day. He's been in my mind all day. I miss his smile, his laugh, our deep conversation, his touch. 
not being able to connect with him the way I want is very frustrating. I love you forever, always. Sweet little, little boy there. From Helga, in three days is my birthday. Most sad birthday ever. Can someone get something for my daughter? I miss her lots. This one is a picture of a dog. Feeling so lost today. Miss my mom every single day. Is there any reading on this picture, please? Not sure what that means because it's a picture of a dog. Okay, here's another anonymous member. Hi, folks. I'm looking for a bit of reassurance of something. I lost someone very close to me a few months ago. In the last couple of months, a lamp in my living room started flickering every now and then. I then asked her twice specifically to send me another sign of flickering that light again that evening, and it happened both times. I did it again on other days, and I thought it would change a light bulb to make sure it was actually her. And I said to her, I'm changing the bulb in the lamp, but please... Please still flicker it so I can make sure it's actually you. However, since I changed the bulb, getting nothing. I'm so disheartened. I'm so disheartened by this. Any insights? Hey. Here's for Lori. She said, good morning. I don't think I've posted much in this group, but I had something happen to me yesterday. So my family and I went to eat in a buffet restaurant and I was minding my own business, walking to get some food. When out of nowhere, a woman walked right in front of me. She mumbled hi and walked in front of me. She was looking right at me. She smiled and I was taken aback because she looked absolutely identical to a woman I know who passed like a year ago. Oh, excuse me. And I looked at her again, and that woman looked nothing like the woman that passed. I was blown away. But I heard our loved ones can visit us like that if they have passed on, just to let you know they're okay. When Crystal says, my dad passed away suddenly and unexpectedly, she gives the date. I'm lost without him and not sure how to live without him. If anyone can tell me anything, I'd be forever grateful. Another anonymous one. I miss my grandmother so much. It's been eight years without her. Still not over her death. No signs from her apart in some dreams. But in the dream, she's either dying or we're arguing. What does this mean? Can somebody pick up any anything for her? Kimberly says, I've recently lost a special lady. I'd like to get a reading if anybody can pick up anything from this photo. This one says, I'm missing my husband so much it hurts to breathe. Is it anyone getting anything from him? This one says, I'm missing my mom. Can anybody connect with her? It's been almost four months since her passing. Tammy says, I will never get over her being gone. I miss her so much it literally hurts. This one says she's missing her good friend. And if somebody could help her you connect with her friend. This one says, can anyone do a reading right now? I'm in a bad head space and I need guidance, please. And somebody responds saying, this, sh this shall pass, my dear. Please know I'm the one who passed. You, my sweet one, are very alive. I promise you this very 
this just but a moment in time. Please dry your eyes. Okay, it just looks like a form letter that they've responded to this person. He's obviously grieving and maybe in crisis right now. Um, this one says I've suffered depression all my life it's so heavy and physically painful um, some spelling problems will reading be useful in trying to find some positives or hope if I change or will it simply be information I already know since it's, it's her brother can I please get a reading my brother And this one says, I'm starting to think there's no such thing like the afterlife. It's been almost three months since my husband passed and no signs from him at all. He's gone and left us behind to fight daily battles we never asked for. This makes me really sad and hopeless. What's the point of all this? There are 46 comments on that one. I can, I can imagine they're really piling on her. This one says, I feel so lost. Too much loss. This one says the emptiness without her husband is enormous. He was larger than life. An old-fashioned Italian man from the Bronx who loved his family and friends beyond measure. He was strong but gentle, proud but humble, loving, generous, loyal, This one says, my husband's birthday is this weekend, and I miss him so very much. Can you tell me what signs he's sending and how he feels about everything that is happening? This is from Elizabeth. Can anyone help me connect with my husband? I've been so shattered since I lost him. He was my better half, my best friend, and I would love to hear anything at all. Thank you. Here's when the cell is. Can someone help me? Please, my husband died and they give the date. I still don't know what happened. Does someone see something is killing me, not knowing did he suffer? Called for help or was it quick? I need some peace. I I need signs from him. and says, please tell me about my husband. And this other one says, I'm struggling. I lost my husband in April with July. And I've met someone new and I really like him. But I just want to know my husband would be okay with me moving on. Does anyone get any kind of message from him? So it says, I miss my mom so much. She's recently passed. I appreciate any insight. My beautiful mother passed away last week. I miss her so much. The grief is getting more intense each day. I hope she's okay where she is now and she's not alone where she is. And I hope it's okay. I post about my uncle who unexpectedly passed two years ago in August due to a car falling on top, top of him while at work. And I want to know how he's doing. Oh, God. Here's a child. Oh, this is my first nephew. He was 15 and took his life on April of this year. It's crippled our family. Most of you all understand. The last few months have been a nightmare. Another person says, is there anyone available for a reading today? I'm having a very hard time at the moment. 
another one wants to connect with her husband. This guy says he's missing his wife so much. Can somebody help? Sandra says, I lost my soulmate, my husband, my best friend. He didn't die peacefully and I can't get past those last few days. Is anyone getting anything from him? Oh my gosh. My heart is shattered. Some days are harder than others to continue this journey without him. Please, can someone give me a reading from him? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. My brother died in 1988. So does that mean when it's my time to leave this world, he would have already returned here and I don't get to re reunite with him? Another one, she's pregnant with her third child and stressing so badly about having another miscarriage. I also have two boys and I'm hoping to finally get my girl. My first loss was a baby girl and I'm hoping she comes back to me even if that's possible. Would appreciate any feedback. Yeah, it's probably all I can deal with. I don't know. What do you guys think? It's you know, you're looking at what well, you can't, well, you can't see unless you go to the Facebook group. It's they're, they're normal pictures of people enjoying their life on the lake or fishing or hanging out on the couch or, or, you know, snuggling up with them or a wedding picture or graduation pictures. It's, it's just regular photos. And I'm, you know, I'm a retired photographer and photos mean so much to me. I am just like, obsessed with photographs um and so scrolling through there the messages were really painful to know how badly these people are grieving over the loss that they're feeling some of them seemed like there was an awful lot of them that were like in the last few days last few weeks that they the person is, has died and they're just feeling a lot of grief right now and i they're lonely and um they want anything they want to know anything and it's really hard to look at those normal photographs of people and then to know that they're gone and the mediums are just in there um, i suppose the mediums they have in there are supposedly sympathetic and you know not not like some of them are and um trying to be kind but then there is a limited amount of them so there's not the competition so much and there's thousands 24,000 people in this room in this Facebook group greeting stressed out lonely vulnerable people who believe in mediumship and want a reading willing to pay um but, you know, probably not to pay the big bucks and try to get in with some of the others. I tell you, I don't, I just, you know, some days it's like, what the heck? Um, a woman wrote to me and she says, why, why, if you've caught somebody, don't they go away? You know, if you've caught them and you've exposed how they've done what they've done and we all know now that the person is is fake or whatever she says well why why don't they go away and i get that from people all the time well can't you just bust this psychic over here or that psychic over there and i don't know what people think i have some kind of special power or something <laughs> you can't just point out somebody's a con per con man and all of a sudden, the world is looking at what Susan Gerbig has to say about it. And they go, poof. I don't know what they're thinking. For every person who writes to me and says, thank you, I now understand that this psychic right here is a fraud. And I won't be going to that psychic 
And then they say to me, so can you recommend a better psychic, a psychic that is real? I get that all the time. And I think, you know, it's just baby steps. You, you got to start somewhere. So if they can at least get to the point where they say, one person, this one right here is a fraud, then maybe the steps they, they learn will be something that they, they can use in the others. Because this is a mindset that a lot of these people have never thought of before is that it's not possible to communicate with the dead. So to go from total belief in it, you know, your whole life you've been raised in it, your religion tells you to do this and your family has been involved in this for years to go, you know, at a snap of a, of a finger to go from total belief in mediumship to, oh, wait, this is all fake. We just can't expect that to happen. So, so there's, it's a process. So if people are starting to question, even if they're just still at the stage where they're starting to question, that's a good thing. But for every one person that we, we have has a light bulb moment and they're like, oh my gosh, this is all fake. For every one of those, there's, you know, thousands that are trying to get a book a reading with somebody right now probably tens of thousands. So yeah, it's discouraging. Yeah, yeah it really is. Um, I think about something that it was told to me a long time ago, my, my dear friend, Barry Carr, um, from the center for inquiry. He, I was having a low moment one day and I wrote to him and I said, Barry, you know, this is so frustrating. We're, we're just, we're just like trying so hard to educate and trying to explain. And people just look at this like, oh, you guys are just skeptics and you're, you, you just take all the fun out of everything. And, you know, why do you do these things? And of course, of course, homeopathy is real. And of course, this is, you know, crystals are healing, you know, whatever it is, you know, some kind of pseudoscience. And I told him, I said, Barry, it's so frustrating. Why do we do this? We're not making any money in it. That's for sure. We're not getting rich off of this. And um, he said, he said to me, Susan, if we didn't do it, if we had never done, tried, well, first off, it'd be really hard for us, you know, to not at least have tried. And he says, can you imagine where we would, the world would we be in right now? If we weren't trying to educate people, leave these resources for them to find. And so that when they are starting to question, they will actually ask questions and they'll have a place to find some answers. Emmy's really wise. And I told him this the other day. I said, Barry, that really helped me out when you told me that. And he says, I don't remember telling you that. I said, well, I'm going to remember that you told me that so I can, because I felt, I felt better. We have to try. So, sorry, you guys. This was kind of a depressing one. I'm going to spend the day in the garden tomorrow. Maybe watch some kitten videos after this. <laughs>